Hey, salut everyone. Today we are the 21st of May 2024 and something historical just happened. Nvidia released the 555 driver in a beta version and guess what? Those drivers are awesome. They are literally awesome. They're gonna they're gonna change the game. But they are not perfect. So I want to share my experience right now, nine hours after the official release from NVIDIA. I've been testing those drivers like crazy and I want to share some trick with you. I want to share my experience and hopefully uh, you're going to have the same experience I'm having right now. It's just awesome. Let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. And in case you were not aware about the whole situation between NVIDIA and Wayland, I'm going to put you up to speed without getting too much in depth into it. Long story short, on one side, you had Wayland, which were not really about supporting explicit sync in their display protocol. And on the other hand, you had NVIDIA, which was not willing uh, to switch to implicit sync because of hardware reason. And now because Wayland is becoming the main platform for the desktop on Linux, well, guess what? The, all the NVIDIA users, they couldn't use Wayland. Or if they did, they had a lot of like flickers and the, the experience was just atrocious, just atrocious. The good news is that today, NVIDIA released the famous, I'm going to call them famous, 555 driver, which finally will be compatible with Wayland. And on the other hand, the developer of Wayland have been working a lot for the last, I would say like two years to finally implement explicit sync in their uh, graphics stack. And this is just awesome because today you're going to have the opportunity like I did to beta test those drivers on Wayland and have the full experience. So before we jump into the result of my testing, I need to share with you the requirement to date to take advantage of those drivers on Wayland if you own an NVIDIA card. Obviously, you're going to need the driver. Thanks to Peter, one of the main dev of Cache OS, I'm going to put the link in the description below. You can download the driver ready to install, already packaged for Arch and all uh, Arch based uh, distribution. Also, you can use the famous NVIDIA All script developed by TKG to install those drivers from scratch. And I'm, I'm going to put a link also in the description of this video and also a link to my video, which explains how to do that. So thanks to those guys to make it really easier to install on Arch. For the other distro, you are on your own. Uh, right now, I believe like the best place to test those beta drivers is Arch. And this is what I've done. Another requirement related to this testing is the fact that you're going to have to have a desktop manager or Windows manager, which has been patched with the latest explicit patch. So for example, I'm going to focus on, on KDE in this video. But I do believe like GNOME is ready and has the patch uh, upstream. So you might have to compile them. For KDE, what you can do, you can use the AUR from Arch to compile those two packages you need to take advantage of the explicit sync in Wayland. So the first one is called egl wayland come from the Git. And the second one is called kwin explicit sync Again, if you are on Cache OS, because that's my uh, main distro here for the last like seven months now, everything is already patched. You just have to install the driver and you, you should be good to go. If you have any other like Arch-based distro, you're going to have to install the driver. Then make sure you install those two software to take advantage of explicit sync. I want to talk about Hyperland too, because I heard they are working on it. It's going to arrive soon. I know the main dev is working on something else right now, but I do believe it's going to move forward. Something I'm, I'm really looking forward to. 
because Hyperland was not a possibility for all the NVIDIA users here, at least the ones which are not on a laptop. So this is going to be great. Just be patient, guys. Now, this is my personal experience, and I need to share that up front. I noticed that after doing all of this, my experience was still not good. And obviously, it's a beta version of the driver, so expect to have some bugs. But someone here named Koda Taroule, so I hope I pronounce this uh, gentleman or uh, miss uh, name really well. But the idea is that you can disable the GPU firmware via a command line. So I'm going to put a link in the description below. Yeah, and it saved my experience. So if you encounter any issue, don't forget to do that because it was really a game changer for me. So as you understand here, we are using patch which are upstream. Obviously in the future, I do believe like KDE is going to release a 6.1 version of Plasma, which is going to include all the patches we are already like applying here. Again, this is a testing approach. If you want to be patient and avoid all of this, just be patient. I do believe it's going to be in the third week of June for the release of KG Plasma 6.1. So be patient if you don't want to do that. If you want to do that, go for it. Now, let's talk about my testing. So when it comes to the experience itself, I want to talk about the positive first. And the thing I want to mention out of the box is like this is the best experience I had on Linux so far. So let me explain. Altab is working wonderfully. I don't have any flickering. I have nothing. All the previous issues related to some of the app like flashing in your face, they all disappeared. I couldn't reproduce it at all. Like impossible. When it comes to multi-screen experience, you can finally have different refresh rate on your desktop and not having any issue like in X11. So this really good, like really, really good. Another issue I had while testing Wayland before those drivers is that if I was playing a video on one screen and doing something else in the other screen, it will kind of like stutter. It will not flicker, it will stutter depending on the amount of like, you know, like drawing the video on the other screen will do. And I don't have that anymore. It's not perfect yet. I can see like sometimes there is some a little stutter, but compared to before, it's just awesome and it's better than what it was on X11. So this really nice too. When it comes to gaming, this has been the smoothest and most reactive experience I had to date. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused here because I did believe that tiering was still not available. And if you look at the patch notes, there is a line talking about the fact that tiering will still work within those drivers. And I'm, I'm super confused. And if we have an NVIDIA like specialist, I would love to talk to this person or just leave a, a comment uh, in this video. But I can tell that the input lag is really minimum and the tiering is non-existent. So I, I don't know what they did there. But this is the best gaming experience I had so far. And you're going to say like, hey, Max, you are totally hyped. Yes, I'm hyped. Okay, I'm hyped. But I'm telling you, this is great. I'm not overselling it there. This is great, guys. Like you have no idea. This, this is awesome. And now cherries on the cake, OBS. So OBS is always something really delicate when it comes to recording, whether it's on Windows or on Linux. I've been streaming for a long time now. This has been the best experience of like gaming and recording and streaming so far. It's better than on Windows. It's better than with uh, NVFBC, uh, like, you know, like the little trick. Like it, 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 it was just awesome with OBS. So yeah, it, it, it might sound like I'm hyped again, but obviously I am. But I'm telling you, I was playing a video I was playing video game and I was recording on the first screen and I was also uh, pushing the main screen to my second PC there. And guess what? Not a flinch, not nothing like solid, like super solid. So here, I, uh, this is awesome for all the content creators out there. Really good.
So obviously, there is a lot of positive, but this is a beta and, and there is also some, some negative. And I want to go through them for you not to be, you know, like uh, disappointed because you're going to watch this first part and you're going to be like, yeah, I want to install it. But it's, it's not always like super great in, in, in every case. So I need to mention that too for you to be aware of what's going on here. So the first thing is that my Firefox would not stay open for more than, I would say, like 25 seconds, between 10 and 25 seconds. It will always crash. And I found this post saying that you need to deactivate hardware acceleration. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, you go in your Firefox, you go on settings, you go down there. And if I remember correctly, here you're going to have it ticked like that. You don't click it and you unclick that. And then it won't crash anymore. No more crash. So those two one here. Don't ask me why. It's a beta version of the driver. I think there is a lot of ironing out to be done still. You will see the resolver problem. But this one, the one was bothering me the most. And here it, it is a solution for this specific driver, 555 beta and uh, the early explicit patch on KG. Something else which is also like not there, and I'm really hoping that the NVIDIA dev are going to work on that, is the fact that we need an NVIDIA setting control panel, even on Wayland, to control the basic stuff of the card. I'm thinking about the voltage. It would be great to be finally able to undervolt. Thinking about the overclock potentially, like do something like proper, like it was on X11, Guys, you can do it, and it's still not available now. So uh, here, I'm uh, I'm super happy, but this could have been done. Like, really, guys, I, I count on you. Like, NVIDIA, please do it. Another negative point, and this one, I can't really tell what is the cause. I made a lot of benchmark today, and I tested native game. I tested game going through Proton. I did test a lot of games, and what I noticed, even if they were super smooth, even if the input lag was super low, I noticed that the maximum FPS compared to my experience on X11 will be under by, I would say like 10 to 20% depending on the game. With my hardware, I have a 1490. I don't really care because I'm always way above the refresh rate of my 1440p screen here. I'm always above like 240 uh, FPS, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay. However, depending on your hardware, uh, those 10%, you might uh, miss them. The good news is like, even with that, because the experience is so smooth, I will still recommend it over X11. I'm not kidding. Like this is obviously a negative because the performance is not there yet. I don't know why. I do believe it's maybe because of those explicit sync patch, which are maybe not ready, or maybe the driver because it's in beta, like there is some improvement to do on their end. But... Yeah, performance-wise, you're going to be under. Another point is like those drivers, they don't fix HDR. So you can activate it, but it's going to be not good. That's okay, but I need to mention it. And another one, which is also super important, is the fact that VRR, or G-Sync, in this case with NVIDIA, is not supported in multi-screen. So I do know that with the MD card, you can do it. I do know that on Windows, you can also do that. But for whatever reason, it's not implemented yet. So if you want to have G-Sync working with a multi-monitor setup, it's not going to happen. Just want to tell you guys, like, it's not there yet. I hope also, like, they're going to be working on that. But I'm, I'm, I'm patient now. I, I've seen the advance, and it's, it's going in the right direction. And the last point is related to the drivers themselves and Wayland. So all the issues related to Wayland, for example, capturing your screen within Discord, like the official application, it still doesn't work. But you have to realize that some of those bugs you might encounter, they might not be related to explicit sync and those new drivers. They just might be related to Wayland itself. It's still in development, obviously. So if you have issue, maybe do not blame NVIDIA right off the bat and make sure it's not something more like related to Wayland itself. So guys, you get it, right? Like I'm super excited. I do believe from now on, I'm going to be running Wayland. 
because my experience has been just way better than X11, even if I have all those little bugs left and right. If you have the opportunity to do it, like guys, don't hesitate, do it. Make sure to follow what I mentioned before related to the requirement. But to me, it's, it's just a no-brainer. Like we are, I believe, witnessing an historical moment. And you're going to be like, Air Max, you're exaggerating. This is not historical. Yes, it is. It's actually historical. I'm going to tell you why. It is historical because this adoption of Wayland and NVIDIA, the fact that finally they can work together, in my opinion, is going to open a lot, lot, lot of new doors. And what I'm saying new doors, I will say like literally avenue. Because you have to think that 80% or maybe 75% of the gamers were kind of like blocked on X11 with their NVIDIA card, which is uh, kind of a shame, but now they are not anymore. So he needs some polish. I know we are early, obviously, in those uh, patch, whether like on Wayland side or NVIDIA side, but it's a first step forward for the adoption of Linux by the gamer. What I meant by that is like, if you are tired of Windows and you see this video and you might believe that, oh no, like, X, like Lin Linux just sucks when it comes to gaming. Well, now with Wayland and the NVIDIA patch, they're ready. It, it, it makes the transition like way better, like way easier for 75% of the NVIDIA GPU owner out there. So... I know I'm hyped, I know maybe I'm exaggerating here, but you you get my idea there. There is no excuse now. You know, you have multiple refresh rates there for your monitor. It's going to be butter smooth. You don't have to config anything because right off the bat, it, it just works. Like this, this is just awesome. Like I don't think if you guys realize, but I'm, I'm literally baffled. I was having like, hope towards this patch. I've been waiting for it because it was supposed to, to be out like almost like uh, one week ago, like six days before. But having it released now and in this state, I thought it would be way more buggier than that. It, it just works. So guys, what I'm going to do uh, next stream, we're going to try to uh, install Hyperland, I think, or maybe like show you how to, you know, start and install everything from scratch on Arch to give you some type of tutorial to, to enjoy uh, those drivers as much as I do. So guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to don't miss uh, the next video about that. And again, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. And as we say over there, bisous bisous, papa.